Whoever knew a game about ripping spines and cracking skulls would have some startling plot twists. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most shocking twists in Mortal Kombat. For this list, we're looking at some of the most surprising plot twists to have occurred across the Mortal Kombat franchise. Let's go. It is the end of all things. Armageddon. Stop! If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10, Sindel's Betrayal, Mortal Kombat 11, Aftermath. Prior to the events of Aftermath, Sindel once ruled Udenia with her husband Jared before Shao Kahn invaded, killed Jared, and forced her to wed him. Despite taking her own life, Shao Kahn found a way to resurrect her in a brainwashed state, causing her to become the malicious scream queen we're all too familiar with. In Aftermath, however, Sindel supposedly returns to her natural self after being resurrected, according to Shang Tsung. Trust that I love you. Oh, mother. But remember, this is Shang Tsung we're talking about, and we may have forgotten about that until Sindel begins plotting to kill Katana and reunite with Shao Kahn. Naive girl. Your mother is not bewitched. She never has been. Just when we thought the sorcerer was telling the truth, it bit us in the ass. You should have stayed dead. Please, that wounds me, daughter. Number 9, Liu Kang's Timeline, Mortal Kombat 11, Aftermath. Upon finishing Aftermath's story, one can't help but wonder where the franchise could go next now that Liu Kang can forge new timelines. Well, we caught a glimpse of that after defeating Shang Tsung once and for all. At the Wuxi Academy, we see a younger Kung Lao, but this isn't just the same Kung Lao from previous games. This is the Great Kung Lao, the one that defeated Shang Tsung and saved Earthrealm before the events of the first game, and Liu Kang has chosen him as the Fire God's champion. Simply put, this is a heartwarming and perfect way to bring the series full circle. Trained? For what? Number 8. Onaga's Deception. Mortal Kombat Deception. Shujiro, I see you have found the last of the Kamidoru. Yes, Damashi. I was on my way into the Nexus to place it upon the altar. Before Mortal Kombat got all cinematic with its storytelling, it already had a plot twist that was pretty significant in its story. In the single-player campaign for Mortal Kombat Deception, we see a young Shujinku collecting Kamidogu for the Dragon King, Onaga. However, he was under the impression that he was collecting these for an elder god named Damashi. Shujinku, please save me! <laughs> oh, you fool! Damashi does not exist! The Avatar you see before you is merely a projection of my consciousness. It wasn't until after he presented all the Kamadogu that Onaga revealed himself, and the Dragon King fled the Outworld to reclaim his throne and use his Kamadogu to make himself even more powerful. Damn, even ancient beings can be total scumbags. And so, Shuchenko, your quest is done. Prepare for death. Number 7, Sonya's Death, Mortal Kombat 11. I'm here, Cass. Hang tight, we'll get you guys out. <laughs> They're gone. Cass. And I'm not gonna make it. We already had an idea of how epic and dramatic Mortal Kombat 11 was going to be after seeing the game's reveal in January 2019. However, we didn't expect things were going to be so rough and heavy so early. The first chapter sees Cassie, Sonya, and the rest of Special Forces infiltrate Liu Kang's fortress in the Nether Realm. However, things take a turn for the worse as Sonya gets buried underneath a pile of rubble. That's an order. Your duty. Mine's to finish the mission. Mom, no, we can save you! 
She gives a few last words to Cassie before detonating the explosives and bringing the whole fortress down. We didn't think Mortal Kombat could pull off a moment so emotional, but here we are. <coughs> Give your dad a kiss for me. Number 6. Shang Tsung Made the Crown Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath Are you? Have you wondered why Shang Tsung knows so much about my crown? Because he did your bidding gathering souls to fuel it. When you form an unlikely alliance with someone, like the deceitful Shang Tsung, you can't help feeling like they're always hiding something. So when he offered his help to Raiden and company, something felt off. He mentions that he was a prisoner of the Elder Gods, gaining power to absorb souls in order to give power to Kronika's crown. What he fails to mention, until about halfway into Aftermath, is that he is the one who forged a crown. The crown is his design. While he makes a point that if we had known this in advance, no one would trust his alliance. But how else are we supposed to react to a shady character offering help? Welcome them with cookies and roses? Had I told you, we would still be marooned at the beginning of time bickering among ourselves. Number 5. Melina's Death Mortal Kombat X Enough of your prattle. Finish me, that I may join my father. Melina has been a staple character since Mortal Kombat 2, only having skipped out on Deadly Alliance. This only made it harder to accept her fate when she was killed off in Mortal Kombat X. You do not deserve death by an Emperor's hand. Instead, I give the honor to my worthy First Minister. After failing to steal back Shinnok's amulet, Melina is captured and taken to Kotal Khan. Rather than executing her himself, Kotal Khan instructs Devora to do the dirty work. The nasty Kaitina kisses Melina and infests flesh-eating parasites inside her. Sucks for those of us who are fans of Melina, but damn, what a disgusting way to go out, man. Number 4. He Must Win Mortal Kombat At the start of Mortal Kombat, the 2011 reboot, we're immediately shown that everyone is dead, and Raiden is about to be finished off by Shao Kahn. However, mere moments before his death, Raiden sends a cryptic message to his past self. He must win. He must win. We suspected the same warriors as the Thunder God. It had to be Kung Lao or Liu Kang, right? Wrong. While he was almost too late to realize it, Raiden figures out that his past self was referring to Shao Kahn as his invasion of Earthrealm would violate the rules of Mortal Kombat. Too many of Earthrealm's champions were lost, but hey, the twist made for one hell of a story. No, do as I say. Have faith in the Elder Gods. Have faith in me. Number 3. Sindel's Massacre, Mortal Kombat. The Lin Kuei, they surround us. So much for standing around. Before solving his past self's vague message, Raiden went to seek guidance from the Elder Gods. Unfortunately, his and Liu Kang's absence would partially cause the downfall of their friends. Sindel ambushes the Earthrealm warriors along with the Lin Kuei cyborgs and proceeds to slaughter them all. Johnny and Sonya are the only survivors while Katana is left mortally wounded. Nightwolf manages to take her down, but only by sacrificing himself. Honestly, we weren't expecting to see most of the cast killed off like this, and it hurt to watch. Number 2. Shang Tsung's Ultimate Betrayal Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath You should be more vigilant, Fuji. Okay, bear with us for a minute here. We knew Shang Tsung was going to betray Raiden and company. The Sly Sorcerer has an extensive history of plotting behind people's backs for his own nefarious deeds. So why anyone expected him to keep his words is beyond us. However, 
It was surprising to see him backstab Sindel and Shao Kahn in the final moments of Aftermath. Killing Kronika is my destiny. Yours is to serve me. These are the people he served and sworn to protect before. But in hindsight, it makes sense that he'd take advantage of the power Kronika's crown wields and try to become a Time Lord. Still, his history didn't make this any less surprising. It says everything about his character and how he'll hurt anyone for personal gain. You have no one left to betray. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Timelines. Plural. Mortal Kombat 11. If you must die, so be it. This... this has happened before. This completely changed our perception of the entire franchise. Just as Raiden and Liu Kang were about to fight each other, the Thunder God was struck with a series of flashbacks showing him and the Shaolin monk fighting to the death. It is here that we realize that these flashbacks are all from separate timelines, some of them depicting the two's appearances from previously retconned games. Cassie's reaction pretty much reflects our reaction to the revelation. Wait a sec, timelines? Plural? This means that every game before the 2011 reboot, or even MK11, could potentially be part of different timelines. Whatever it says about previous entries, we're eager to see where the franchise goes with this. At long last, you see the pattern. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.